Hi, this is Pat Nolan and Pup. I'm not sure what we're going to call him. This is his first day training and I've put the pallet down now. He went to investigate and I rewarded that. Just rewarding self-initiated behavior. I'm luring him off to one side and I lure him back on. This pup is just seven weeks and uh, just getting started. This is from the first day. I set the camera up and started training. I didn't have a camera operator. The camera's on a tripod. It's in a bad spot and black pants and a black puppy's bad for the video. But now here I'm drawing him off with an empty hand. Then I mark that and reward it. Okay, and a treat. Draw him back on with an empty hand. He's targeting following my hand. And I reward that even though he came off, he hit the pallet. And he went back on, so I'm marking the board that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I call him off. We're going to bring this into a more formal setup where I'll call him off and have him sit. But, and this is the first day. Now, I'm ignoring him there. He's jumping on me. I'm ignoring him. He went okay. back to the pallet on his own, and I marked that. I didn't cast him back. I just ignored him for a few minutes, and he decided, that, hey, something's happening over here at the pallet, so he went back. And I call him off to sit. Again, I'm ignoring him there. He runs back on his own. I marked that. So here we're rewarding self-initiated behavior. I sort of got him started in a track, but then he chose on his own. And again, I'm ignoring him there when he's standing staring at me. Okay, I marked it and rewarded it. He got the front feet on. It wasn't exactly what we wanted, but he got on there. Again, we can always tighten the requirement later.